Hi guys, it's Celeste again. Welcome to my draw pain journey. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. This is going to be a really short video because honestly, I'm not sure if anybody will be able to understand me. I'm still getting used to wearing this appliance. I just got it put in so I can't talk very quickly or very well at this point. I have the appliance in my upper teeth and on my lower jaw, I'm wearing also my splint or my orthotic that I've been wearing for a while. I hope you'll be able to understand me. So let's get started and just talk about what is in store. And also I wanna fill you guys in on everything. I personally am hoping that this is going to be a really great solution for not only me, but other people struggling with TMJ pain and airway issues. So recently I was provided some further information um, or basically there's there's been other videos out there that I noticed were saying there were negative side effects to wearing the AGA appliance and that it didn't actually grow bone, which prompted me to ask my dentist, you know, what can I expect with this? Is this really going to work for me? Does it really grow bone? She is a skeptical person as well, but has been working with many clients and many patients prior to me. And she assured me that yes, it does grow bone and, and that it does do what it claims to do. So ultimately, ultimately we're going to see, I've been working with her for many years though. So this has been like two or three years that I've been going to see her. So I do trust her. And I've been to many other doctors who I can't say the same, you know, thinking back, I worked with them for uh, a little bit of time and then I had to cut it off completely because I just don't trust their <laughs> judgment anymore. And you know what, that is just my personal opinion. Um, and if there are still patients going to them who do trust them, then that is, you know, everybody is different. So I respect everybody's opinion. Since I am still having a hard time talking, I'm going to take out my splint really quick and I can even show you what that looks like. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about my appliance. And the other thing I want to talk about is I'm going to be doing a sleep study for the next two days. I've never done one of these before, but I'll tell you a little bit more about why I'm doing it, why it was decided kind of last minute. Um, and then some other updates as well. So let me take this splint out and see if maybe I could talk a little bit better for you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm talking a lot easier, but honestly, for me, I'm lucky because this is removable for me. This is my splint. I rinsed it off so it's nice and clean for you. <laughs> um, but basically, you know, some people have to have a fixed appliance in their lower jaw, or what they'll do is they'll put like, um, m they'll glue uh, onto your teeth like little uh, padding there so that you, your jaw is, and your teeth and your bite is going to be changing throughout this whole process. So you have to be able to kind of shift and move your bite around and that's why you need kind of a layer over your teeth so that they don't get stuck in any position because the idea of this appliance is that it's not only going to grow and move the bones um, in the front of my teeth forward by millimeters, uh, but it's also going to then allow for your lower jaw and hopefully my lower jaw to move forward as well to open up this area um, in both my condyles and also allow me to breathe better, which will help me hold my, my head up higher and straighter and have a, a better posture and also be able to sleep better at night. So speaking of sleep, as I mentioned, I'm speaking with an oral health educator and she was the one that really suggested that I do a sleep study. Now, ideally the sleep study would take place before I even have this glued in my mouth. This is fixed, so this is staying. Currently, it is not activated, and that is because I'm doing the sleep study for the next two days. So that's gonna be for tonight, Monday night, Tuesday night, and then by Thursday, I'm gonna return the sleep study to my specialist and then she's basically going to activate the appliance so it actually does start pushing on my teeth. So right now it just kind of feels big in my mouth, um, and, but it, I, it's kind of just like spacers. So I'm not feeling any of the pressure of the movement itself yet. Um, so it's not really painful. I'm still kind of getting used to talking with it, but just like even any of my splints, I've had to kind of have some time to get used to it. So 
Again, I apologize, but to be honest, I wanted to tell you as soon as I got out of this appointment, just so that I don't miss any details uh, that I wanted to share with you guys about what to expect. And my cats just have to be involved in everything. So if you see them running around or you hear thumps and stuff like that, that's just them. Um, I can't keep them out and I, you know, I can't keep them in because once they're in a room, they want to leave or vice versa. So anyway, they're just going to be hanging out in the back of my videos. So moving forward with the sleep study, they just want to get a baseline and I want to share with you guys the results of my sleep study so that we can see how that improves. I have a hard time falling asleep. I have a hard time breathing while I'm sleeping. I also have a lot of pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, you know, when I'm trying to sleep. And I've tried different pillows and different positions and things like that. So it's definitely, you know, it's definitely related to the structure of my jaw and my, um, my bite and everything like that. So after this, I will be going into braces, but this is going to be several months, um, maybe six months or more that I'm going to have this depending on my, you know, personal movement and what, what my teeth want to do, how far they want to move and, and, and before they feel comfortable. Basically, with the sleep study, she just kind of went through it. It is a take home run, and then they send the results to a um, sleep specialist. But this is like the little bag that they gave me. And then inside it, we'll take a look. It's just a, um, a battery that kind of just sits on my chest. I know it looks really wide, really confusing, um, but she went over it. It's really not that bad, actually. And if you're actually curious about how well you're sleeping, um, and there's even like a snore microphone to see if you're snoring, um, etc. This is great so that you can really see how you have improved or haven't improved during your sleep later on. And that's what I'm hoping to share with you guys is just an honest review of this. I really didn't want to rush into anything so you know this isn't something that I just kind of said oh will this work okay I'm jumping into it this has taken me many many years my doctor even waited to put this on me because she wanted to see how other patients who aren't quite as um, sensitive and uh, get flare-ups quite as badly as I do before putting this on me and so far knock on wood i have not had any major pain from having this and moving my teeth um slightly even so and most people don't say that it's it's much different than just kind of wearing braces you know as far as the the sensitivity of on your teeth and, and the soreness of that goes but i will give you an honest my honest feedback on it because honestly if this can help other people who are going through tmj then like i want to share that because this has just been such an incredible incredibly difficult journey because there's no really good solution that's out there currently where you can say like okay each person has to go through this exact same treatment plan in order to receive um the benefits of it you know everyone's so different when it comes to tmj and what is causing it as i mentioned in my last video in some cases it's your genetics it's your you know your health other issues like that comes into play so I'm gonna take you every step of the way with that. I also have a review from my oral health educator um, that I would love to sit down with you guys and read through. So comment down below if you would be interested in hearing what she had to say in detail about TMJ and you know what causes it, family issues and other signs and symptoms um, that you maybe wouldn't even think of but relate back to my TMJ and why I have all these other problems. So Getting back to the sleep study, I'm gonna be wearing this. It, uh, I just have to change the battery. Once I get it all hooked up, I'm hoping that it's not gonna keep me up at night just because it's weird and different because I don't know if you're like me, but I'm a sensitive sleeper when it comes to like trying to fall asleep. And then I do wake up multiple times throughout the night. I never feel well rested in the morning, to be honest. And it takes a lot of sleep for me to feel well rested. So we're gonna see what this has to say. But more so, I kind of already know it's not going to say anything great because I don't feel like I'm getting good sleep. But uh, at least we'll have a baseline for, you know, moving forward ways that I've improved or not improved. So what you can expect with this appliance, I went in and had spacers put in to four teeth, in between four teeth on either side. So there were four spacers either side. I wore those for about a week. They did make my teeth feel sensitive. 
and it was hard to chew harder foods for the first couple of days it got a little easier later on but my teeth were still kind of sore from it and then uh when i went back today they put this appliance in now they pulled out the spacers which wasn't extremely painful but just like a little sore and then she was able to kind of push this appliance in now it wasn't like the most painful thing but it wasn't pleasant by any means um but basically they my doctor will give me breaks because she knows leaving my jaw open a lot really does hurt and i was kind of getting a neck cramp from it but it really wasn't that big a, big of a deal so they use some t a tool to help you kind of push the appliance into the teeth where those spacers were and then i kind of held my mouth open a little longer while she put the glue in I kind of hold my tongue really far away from that stuff because it usually tastes terrible and I just kind of wait it out uh, and try not to swallow or taste it or anything like that and I just kind of hold until I can go and rinse out the glue and things like that because there is like a padding on the roof of my mouth and then there's glue around the front teeth and then in the back teeth as well to hold this in place. Then what she did was there was a bar in the back of this that I think is meant to really give it the applying structure while they're putting it into my mouth. But then she tied a piece of floss to it. She sanded it. She basically cut it off and sanded it down and then took the piece out of my mouth very gently and, and nothing, you know, I couldn't really even tell what was going on. She was just telling me what she was doing. Moving forward with this appliance in my mouth, I won't be able to eat crunchy foods, really chewy, sticky foods like that. Things like gum or, or caramel, I'm sure, like are definitely off limits. But what else? I think it's very similar to wearing braces. And since I'm going to be moving into braces anyway, she said it can't hurt to just get in the habit of eating this way even if some foods you kind of can eat with this appliance that you can't eat with braces so it's like you know what i'm gonna just avoid the popcorn and the, and the nuts and everything like that because i don't want to get it stuck in my teeth anyway with all this stuff in my mouth i'll probably be harder to get it out so that is my plan is to just be pretty strict with myself i'm not really a popcorn or nuts type of person so i think i'll be okay and really i'm just going to be careful not to eat it like bite into any apples or bite into any stiff sandwiches or, or crunchy things like crackers because that could dis dismantle the front and kind of pull it off of the glue so that are you know that is going to be my instructions moving forward wearing this appliance i'm looking forward to activating it on thursday actually because i'm really wanting to get started i really want to get started because a lot of people now my oral health educator she as i mentioned in my previous video she has had this for 10 months now she has other family members in it as well and she said that i think within a couple of months if not sooner her her shoulder just unlocks like she had had a stiff locked shoulder and she said it just unlocked because of the movement that was taking place so I really can't wait for that kind of stuff to happen. I still feel all jacked up in my shoulders and neck pain and, and all that stuff. This Friday, I am going to go to my chiropractor. So I'll update you on that. I'm hoping to maybe get this covered by my medical insurance or at least be able to use an FSA account. Unfortunately, this appliance i believe costs around fifteen thousand dollars depending on your provider and, and the doctor you're working with i paid something different because i've actually been working with this person for a while and i've been putting money into my treatment for a while and she was helping me out with moving into this appliance so i'm really grateful that she was able to do that for me um, but just so that you guys are aware, it can be really pricey. And honestly, there are plenty of pl payment plans and things like that out there with your provider. I'm sure a lot of TMJ specialists expect that you're going to need to put this towards that. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask my chiropractor and see if they would be able to write a medical need type letter for me to let the the uh, medical insurance know that this is something that I'm not doing for aesthetic purposes or you know this is something I need to do because of my health so I will let you guys know how that goes on Friday the 10th but 
Also, I'm going to be making an appointment with a craniosacral therapist. So I will let you know what, how that goes and what to expect with that whole process. So otherwise, what they gave me, again, I'm wearing the splint. I took it out for right now just so that I could talk to you a little easier, but I'm probably going to be putting it right back in because I noticed I'm kind of biting my tongue while I'm talking and that hurts. So the splint is probably going to help create more of a buffer, but that is to help me, you know, move my bite around. And actually, they did give me some ways to clean my teeth because I really want to make sure that I keep up with, you know, your oral hygiene while all this stuff is in my mouth. Um, I also asked for another one of these. These are for your nose. There we go. These are for your nose and they will actually help you breathe through your nose more, which is a healthier way to breathe. And I wanted to try these again. Sometimes they can distract me when I'm trying to sleep, but ultimately I think it's going to be better for me to wear them to get in the habit of breathing through my nose as I'm retraining myself, as I'm expanding the airway in my nose, according to what my doctor's saying, it's going to allow me to breathe more easily. And so I kind of have to retrain my brain my body to remember to breathe through my nose so that's what those are for i didn't even look at all the stuff in this bag but just like normal things like toothbrushes um nothing out out there a travel toothbrush so i could always kind of clean up after i eat and she did give me some wax and you'll probably notice i i do have um wax on there right now because it kind of just immediately started to irritate the side of my mouth and I figure, well, let's just take this slow. Like I'll get used to it over time, but really it's constantly moving. So she said that even after you kind of callous on one part of your uh, mouth, you know, the inside of your mouth, it's probably gonna move to another part anyway. But even if you wanted to see, I don't know if you could see it, but it's just kind of sitting, um, it's glued into the back of my teeth, the front of my teeth, and, and the back teeth as well. So it is in there now for good. And again, as I mentioned, it's not activated yet. That is so that they can get a baseline with the uh, sleep um, study for tonight. And my oral health educator, she was the one who really pushed it. She really wanted to have data. She And honestly, now that you know I'm able to share this via video, I think, you know, months and months from now, I'm going to be really glad that I did take the time and wait just like a couple more days to activate this so that I can um, look back and see how far I've come. And I can also share those results with you guys as well. So that is pretty much everything in here. Some lip balm because I'm sure all of this is going to affect uh, my lips and just it's winter time is snowing like crazy right now so i'm sure that is going to affect it as well let me see what else okay yeah just like picks for my teeth and and plenty of wax because i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using this uh basically what you do if you're not familiar uh i've never had braces or anything in my mouth either but i have kind of read up online that what you do is you just kind of like roll the wax up and it just uh protects your in our mouth from all of the metal and it just gives you kind of a break from it i think that is it for now i want to keep these videos short and just straight to the point i'm having a hard time talking also so hopefully by the next time i do a video you'll be able to understand me better <laughs> but i did want to share this information with you as soon as i got home because i didn't want to forget anything and also want to keep you updated let me know in the comments down below what you are interested in hearing about if you have any questions if you did enjoy this video click that thumbs up button that will let others who are trying to figure out their own solutions for tmj to find this video and hopefully they will find it helpful i hope you found it very helpful as well and lastly if you do want to keep up with my uh, updates I'm definitely going to do weekly updates i'm not sure how often yet but it depends i guess on what changes so there may be a time where things are kind of stagnant but i want to keep you updated on my progress and my thoughts on this appliance so that means i'm going to be post posting pretty regularly if you do want to know as soon as my next video comes out please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you are notified about it that is going to do it for today's video thank you again so much for watching please comment down below and give me some feedback if you have any about uh tmj and even if you want to share your experiences i would love to read that because i totally empathize with you and what you're going through 
But that is going to do it. I hope to see you back again soon, but otherwise, bye-bye.